Wobbly rears are a potential protest for Mercedes. Monaco needs a makeover, according to Lewis Hamilton, and Ferrari are feeling fast to finish free practice. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP fans, and this is the news in Formula One this Thursday. And if you're not doing it already, hit that subscribe button before we get into the headlines. Mercedes are ready to protest flexi wings as Wolf criticizes FIA's half-baked solution. Toto Wolf has warned that Mercedes could protest the use of flexible wings by Red Bull and other teams after a half-baked technical directive from the FIA left teams in no man's land. The Mercedes team principal believes the new test, which will be introduced from the French Grand Prix, should have been brought in sooner to avoid the results of this weekend's Monaco and subsequent Baku races being left under question. Wolf said, We have seen in the past that complicated redesigns for teams have a delay. It's clear if you have a back-to-back -back race, or maybe even two weeks, it's too short for everyone to adjust. But we have four weeks from the May 11th introduction of a new technical directive to Baku. It is incomprehensible that in four weeks you can't stiffen up a rear wing for the track that is probably the most affected by flexible rear wings. So that leaves us in no man's land. The technical directive says that the movement of some rear wings has been judged as excessive, so teams who run these kinds of wings are prone to be protested and probably this is going to go to the ICA, International Court of Appeal, and nobody needs this messy situation. Sitting alongside Wolf, Ferrari team principal Mattia Binotto and Alpine CEO Laurent Rossi both conceded to their teams running flexible wings. Wolf believes the new test, which will evaluate wings under pullback and pushdown forces, will not resolve the issue and said it leaves the rules even more open to manipulation. Asked if his team would have to adapt its wing on the W12, Wolf replied, Yes, we will need to modify our wing. We will need to soften it. Our wing is extremely rigid, complying to the famous Article 3.8 that it must remain immobile. The new test that has been introduced is a half-baked solution which is giving us an opportunity, so the whole thing can soften and can bend more in the future. Each of us three here is doing the job and needs to adapt to the regulations and we have been left in limbo for a long time. We had a flexible wing situation last summer without receiving any feedback and we understand some of the team's frustration that when making the concept of this year's car, that was an area that should have been tackled much earlier. When asked similarly about the wing designs on the Ferrari and Alpine cars, Binotto and Rossi openly stated there would have to be changes made for them to pass the new test. Binotto said, Yes, we are exploiting. I think as all the teams are exploiting somehow what is possible and what we believe is right. The technical directive is clarifying furthermore we will need to slightly adapt. I don't think it is impacting Ferrari much, and certainly on the lap times from what we have seen, very, very little. But there are some redesigns that need to be carried out to fully comply to the technical directive. Rossi said, We have designed a car that conforms to the regulations. If the tests prove we have to comply with a new set of rules, then we will do that. When pressed, he then added, we are going to make the modifications. Lewis Hamilton has called on F1 organizers to make changes to the Monaco Grand Prix to generate more exciting racing with modern day cars. Hamilton believes the current machinery has long outgrown the street track and that moves must be made to prevent monotonous racing. Now there is almost zero opportunity for drivers to overtake. Speaking ahead of this weekend's 78th Monaco Grand Prix, Hamilton said, in my opinion, it needs to change. We've had the same format for years. It is the best venue. It is the most beautiful place that we get to race at. But you already know that it's never exciting for the fans. It's a one-stop race with these hard, long stints that we get to do. On the list of difficult places to overtake, it is off the scale. Highly unlikely you're ever going to get an opportunity to do so. I don't think that fans enjoy that. I don't know what the solution is, 
but I'm hoping when we are looking forward to future generations, it can be a more exciting race for people. Statistics show how difficult it is to overtake, with the driver on pole position winning 12 of the last 20 races, with only 10 victories coming from a driver starting any lower than third since the start of the F1 Championship in 1950. There are two elements, added Hamilton. There's the practice, just driving on the track, going through the tunnel, up into casino. The whole experience of the weekend is mesmerizing, and that never changes. The feeling of winning here is never any less. Every year is unique and special if you are lucky enough to get the opportunity. But as a racer, there are a lot of tracks we go to where we see racing. It's been an exciting start to a season where you're seeing people overtaking and you see the whole field closed up. You're going to just see a train naturally on Sunday. The fans already know that's what's going to happen this weekend. However, it's still exciting to watch somehow. So would it be sacrilegious to change the iconic circuit that is Monaco, or would you welcome more changes that bring more overtaking on such a difficult track? Let us know in the comments section below, and to stay up to date with all things F1, hit that subscribe button and follow all the action on and off the track with GP fans.